welcome back to Pikmin. In the last episode, we got the final two treasures in the Distant Spring. And in this episode, we're going to get the final treasure that we need to get in the Forest Naval. There's only one, and uh, I actually know where exactly where it is. Um, we have to actually fight a boss in order to get it. Um, but before we can fight the boss, we're going to need to blow down a wall um, to get there. So I'm going to take out like, what, 13? 13 is my lucky number, so I'm going to take out 13 yellows. And uh, we're going to go get those bombs that were uh, down at the water and uh, blow blow that wall up. And then we can fight the boss and get the ship part and then get out of here, man. Forever. For good. Never to return. And of course we have these fiery blowhogs uh, that respawn, so um, I'm just trying to be careful about navigating around them. Make sure not to uh, have any of these guys detonate unexpectedly, you know? Alright, so you guys can grab those, go inside the boot, or whatever that is supposed to be. Some sort of metal thing, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's go blow up that wall. <laughs> when I start having delirious speaking things, I don't even know how to... Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. Um, you gotta watch out for these fucking... Really? Get out of here, man. I don't want you here! Alright, that... Did that take care of the entire wall? Alright, I guess it did. We can just blow the shit out of these... Bugs, I guess. If you can actually throw the ones with the bombs instead of throwing regular yellow ones. Die! Wasn't anywhere near any of any of them bugs, but uh, it's okay. You tried. All right, let's go back to the onion so we can put these guys back, and then I'm actually going to go back with a bunch of reds, um, because last time I fought this boss, I thought that you could only use yellows to kill it, but apparently that's not the case. You can also use any type of color, so. Since we have a surplus of reds, I'm just going to bring all of them. Well, not all of them, just like 50. You know what, I'm going to be 45, because it's you don't really want to have too many Pikmin with you during this boss fight, because um, a lot of them are going to end up getting crushed, so uh, you don't need to bring very many. Just a, like a decent amount, but not, not like an entire 100 Pikmin battalion. Take care of these bugs, first of all. Stop flying, man. Get out of here. I'm sick of your bullshit. Okay, you don't want us to fight you, then we're not gonna fight you. You can just fly for all eternity, for all I care. Um, another main reason why you're gonna want reds here as opposed to uh, yellows or any type of color, really, is uh, that there's fire obstacles that you can't carry the ship part back through the fire obstacles unless you have reds carrying it, so... Um, I just, I'm just doing this. And this is Beatty Long Legs, the boss of the Forest Naval. Or one of the bosses, actually, since we fought the toadstool thing here. Um, occasionally, he will bend down, and that's when you can throw your reds at him. And then he just shakes them off, kind of. Um, those feet, his big old feet, can kill a bunch of Pikmin in a single step, so make sure to be careful when navigating around his feet. Um, I like to just wait until he's bending down and then go and attack and kind of uh, kind of play it safe when he's stomping around because otherwise you're going to lose a bunch of Pikmin. And apparently there's one trying to attack him which is preventing him from bending down. So we are losing so many reds right now it's not even funny. And we haven't even done like half of his health yet. It's like what, a sixteenth of his health gone? It's good, it's good. I like it. Making good progress here. Oh, and we're losing even more. Oh, god damn it. Come on, man. Will you, will you just bend down? Fuck you. Okay, just bend down. God, you piece of shit. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Can you stay bent down for more than, like, three seconds, please? For god's sake. Okay. Well, obviously this boss isn't going very well for me. It never does. Oh god. 
Maybe I just need to come back with like a smaller battalion, you know? Because I think my fatal error was that I brought too many picking with me. Where? Come on, what are you doing, pal? Bend down! For God's sake. So yeah, see, if you have yellows, you can just throw them onto him without him having to bend down. But since I have reds... Pal, come on, I want to beat you by the end of the day, for God's sake. There you go. That's the ticket. Alright, I'm just going to let you guys go to town on him. Yeah, and I shouldn't have called them back, but oh well. Fuck you, man! Why get kill all my damn Pikmin? Sir! I'm just trying to- I'm just trying to kill you, can you not let me have that? Come back here, you stupid red. Yeah, I just need to work on not calling them back once they're on him. Oh, and I did it again, oh well. Alright, you know what? Fuck this. I'm coming with the yellows, because I don't have the patience to do this. You guys can stay there, I don't really care. Alright, you f beady, long leg fuck. I'm back for you, I brought yellows this time. How do you like that, huh? How do you like them apples? Throw them right onto you, huh? You like that, don't you? Piece of shit. Burn in hell. Yeah, how do you like me now? You pizza? <laughs> yeah, okay, so apparently yellow Pikmin are the ticket to this fight. So the reds can go screw themselves, because they're pretty much useless. Okay, just be careful not to get hit, and fire away! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Making some decent progress now. Chugging along, huh? I guess a good strategy would be to just throw yellows onto him first, first thing, and then once... Because I think once you have Pikmin on him, it doesn't really matter what color, he starts to bend down, so that's when you can throw your reds and stuff on there. I guess that's a good strategy. And he should be dead pretty soon. Then of course we need to go and get some more reds so we can carry back his ship part. We can't take yellows, because we're gonna die if I do that. Okay, time to come back with some reds. Okay, I've brought 96 reds, and I know that's overkill, but I don't care. The guard satellite. Deep space is filled with dangers. This automated satellite does its part to help guard both me and my spaceship. I'll sleep better at night once this little satellite is back on duty. Okay, so all of you guys can go ahead and grab that. I'm, there's going to be a lot of them. Okay, a lot of them left over too, so we can go back grab those bugs. At this point, I don't really care about increasing... Uh, the population that much because we only have a few more parts and uh, a couple more bosses which we really only need reds to, to fight um, so I'm just primarily going to be focusing on if anything building up our red population um, but other than that just getting the ship parts is good for me and then um, and then the game is over at that point so that's that's our game plan I hope you like it. <laughs> Um, I tried to get some of these leaf ones uh, to be flowers by picking up nectar, which is why so much time passed between my cut and uh, coming back. But um, the thing was, when I tried to find nectar by breaking rocks and uh, pulling grass and stuff, there was none. And so I got no leaves, even though I didn't really finish this grass or this rock patch right here. And there goes the ship part, the last one in the forest navel. Guard Satellite. This has protected me from space pirates many, many times. Okay, that's great.